time no see youtube family and friends it is good to be back yes. i'm here today with my beautiful lovely wife Brittany marie henderson i am brandon henderson and this is the henderson's family channel and today what we will be doing is not a vlog we will be doing questions and answers yes uh, we recently got on our instagrams our snapchats and facebooks and uh ask the uh, followers what kind of questions would you like for us to ask and here we have quite a few so to get started with question number one it says how does it feel to be married and then the lady says i love tall guys i am short <laughs> just like my wife so yeah and this is from yours truly underscore male hey girl um i will go ahead and start first how does it feel to be married um it feels good like when you're married to like your best friend it's kind of like natural it feels normal i don't really it feels good i think that's my answer what about you brandon well i think that marriage is a blessing um, yes. it is one of the greatest things in the world it is something that i always wanted when i was young i wanted a wife and i have one and i have i wanted kids as well we have a lot of those. Right. We have three, <laughs> and we will not be having any more. No more kids. Right. So, yeah, marriage is a wonderful, great thing. Um, you get to share your life with someone yeah. that you love and you care so much about. And it's great, like she said, that we're best friends. So, just enduring this life journey together is wonderful. Right. And then for her second part, to be honest, before I met Brandon, I was, well, everybody's taller than me, but I wasn't really into tall guys like that. I wasn't looking for a guy who was like over six feet like Brandon. Mm -hmm. I don't know, just like an average height guy was fine with me, like five, six, five, seven. I was good with that because I'm only five even. So five, six, five, seven is tall to me. But married to somebody who's over six feet, he's like gigantic compared to me. So, I mean, I like to be carried and stuff like that. So I guess it's a good thing. <laughs> to be married to a really tall person so yeah and just for the record i don't think i'm that tall i'm only six two and one thing um having a short wife she kind of ruined it for um, <laughs> for my kids so if my kids are short then that's that's on her they gotta be six two or taller or they will not be mine that's anyway, okay. <laughs> i'm not claiming them if they're not six two no just kidding <laughs> all right beast uh, question number two go ahead okay question number two is from scott underscore 2000 hey um the question is do you have a good relationship with your in-laws um yeah i think i do i don't have any complaints not really not nothing like we fight or we cussing each other out or anything like that uh, y'all should ask her what does she call my parents she doesn't call them anything that's why she's <laughs> silent i think it's i don't know i think it's kind of strange to call other people's moms and dads mom and dad i don't know i think it's just a personal thing mm -hmm. but then i was raised to not call like older people by their first names so my i mean like uh, so when she talks to him she just starts talking <laughs> <laughs> no title no nothing crazy huh and i don't want to be disrespectful either it's just i don't know i don't know y'all i don't know does anybody else feel that way or is it just me might be just you b it probably is what about you, Brendan? Um, what do I call uh, my in-law? No. The what? question is, do you have a good relationship with your oh, in-laws? <laughs> do I have a good relationship? Yes, I do have a great relationship with my in-law. Um, I call her Mamacita. And uh, yeah, we uh, we talk. I call her on the phone every now and again. Uh, when she comes by, we have great conversations. We also, uh, I remember a while back ago, we talked about the Lord in great detail so so that was great so yeah i, I really like her mom and she she looked good too so did, Brittany gets what? Looks did you say that from she... her mom <laughs> you know? so, did you yeah. say my mom looks good yeah if she uh if i wasn't dating uh b i'd probably be with her mom just kidding but anyway. that's weird all right question, <laughs> number, question number three okay question number brendan your phone is so weird i'm sorry i'm trying to find the his phone is so B, get to the part. So weird. You go to my Instagram, right? Yeah, these questions are from Instagram. So the next one is they're all mixed up now. Where have you guys been? It's been a minute. And that is from I'm sorry if I mess up your handle name. It's Ma Smith underscore Jim. 
Don't know what that means, but... Yeah, but... Uh, where have we been, Brendan? We have been taking care of business. <laughs> um, living our lives. Um, sorry we've been away from YouTube for so long. Um, I've just been trying to find a steady career so I can adequately provide for my family. Um, YouTube is actually a career that we want to pursue full-time. So hopefully we'll be back and doing this you know, for the long run. Um, but in the meantime, I'm trying to drive trucks so that I could, you know, get the camera equipment and things that we need to fully pursue this YouTube journey. Where have we been? We have been up and down, right. to be honest. Um, I think when we first did YouTube and we were doing just the vlogs, um, to be honest, it was hard for me to record because of a lot of the things that we had going on behind the camera scene. Um... I don't know, but I think we took a break so that we can start to get to know each other more. Mm -hmm. And also, we had a couple of kids, you know. Right. So, life went on. And as we were growing to get to know each other more, we kind of wanted to do that away from the camera. Mm -hmm. So that when we come back, like we are now, that it will be more genuine. And that we would really have a good, solid foundation before we started to really be you know, on social media with our personal lives like that. All right, we gotta be honest with y'all. We um I'm gonna be transparent. We weren't we weren't really good to each other behind no, the scenes. And that's weren't. that's because of me though. Um I was going through a little episode. I lost my grandma at the end of two thousand and fifteen. And that kinda took me on a little episode to where I wasn't me. I was very mean to my wife and doing a lot of dumb stuff. So yeah. And so when we were on the on, on YouTube, on camera, everything seemed good. But off camera, it was not it was, good. It was a nightmare. It was a disaster. Yeah. So, yeah. But now everything is so much better. We've, like, grown more as a husband and a wife and as a mother and a father. Mm -hmm. We have a lot. I mean, we've always been in church. But I think now we have such a better foundation, a more solid foundation so that when we're doing these kinds of things and we're speaking out to the world, mm -hmm. it's not fake. Right. We want to be genuine in what we say and genuine in what you guys see on camera so that when you see us out, you know, people who are from Bakersfield, when you guys see us out in the city, we're not faking. You guys, exactly what you see on camera is exactly what you're going to see in real life. Right. And at first, like Brandon said, it was the complete opposite of what we were portraying on camera. So, and then we moved. Right. And... That was different, and so life happened, so we put the camera down, and we focused on each other and our family. We could actually tell them some things that happened. We lost the apartment. We were homeless, program. you guys. I went to jail. He did go to jail. Yes, and then Brittany was living in a hotel, a hotel. for, a, what, like a couple months? Like a, a, month, a month and a half, maybe. And, and then, then we, I went ahead, and his parents took me and my children in. And then when Brandon was released, we stayed there for a good five, six months. Right. And then the Lord blessed us with finances. Right. And we were able to move to our apartment that we have now, which mm -hmm. is great. Mm -hmm. We love it here. We've been here for a year and a half. Right. We moved here in February of 2017. Mm -hmm. So now, like, like he was saying, it was not, we were not stable at all. We weren't stable at all. And... I think that now, now that we have a foundation and we're solid in our, our relationship mm -hmm. and solid in with our family, our children and things, we can now go ahead and use the gift that God has given us to speak to his people all around the world. And that's what we're doing right now. So, all right. that was, we went a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, a little deep, but right. that's where we've been, you know, we want to be honest with our, you guys are our family, so. I want to be completely honest with you guys. Next question. Oh, the next question is, how did you guys meet and how did we hook up? <laughs> okay, let me let me take in, let me dive in on that for a second. How did we meet? Well, we actually met through a good friend of ours that we shared. His name is Stacy Davis. Um, my yes. friend, you guys know Todd Jones. He was uh, he wanted to be in the talent show that she was actually the. What were you? I was like a. One of the coordinators, you could say. Right. We don't really have titles. So he gave me her phone number. I gave her a call. And she says that when I gave her this phone call, she didn't know what I was saying because I talked so fast. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you really talk really, really fast. And right. The first time you hear Brendan talk, you're like, I'm sorry, what? Mm-hmm. Can you say that again? I did that like three, four times. Mm-hmm. And so from there, um, uh, how do we hook up? Whoa, what? Right? No? I mean, that is the question. <laughs> right. But... Um, well, well, the first time we met in person was at the at the uh, show. At the show, it was a sound check, yeah. and I actually whistled right by her, and I went to a friend of mine and I asked, uh, "Is that a uh, Brittany?" Because I never never seen her in person, and then I walked up to her, introduced myself, and yeah, and that's all. Yeah, that's uh, how we met. But right. we didn't start dating for like a, almost two months after that. Right. But that is how we met. So you told the truth on that part. Mm-hmm. You did tell the truth. But we actually, once after we met, it was like in April of 2014. Right. He was, um... I was living with Kevin at the time. Yeah, and then we had, went on our first date, so he didn't have a car. So I went and I picked him up or whatever. No, first no, no, of stop. all... Before the dating, before <laughs> the dating thing, I was training her. No, we went on a date first and then you started training me. No. Yes. That, really? Yeah. Oh, okay, sorry. My bad, I messed up. Anyways, on our first date, first of all, I should have never talked to him again after our first date because he was late. I pulled up to the apartment. I get inside the apartment, right? He's still in the shower. Yes, I take 45 minute showers. Respected. Nobody told me that he was going to take 45 minutes. Got to be clean. In the shower, though. But, I mean, if you called and told me what time to come and get you, mm-hmm. you should be ready. Hey. That's called rude. I should have known he was. <laughs> respect them i am worth waiting you for. sound ridiculous yeah anyway so i should have just like left him alone then and there but i didn't mm-hmm. whatever but i'm kind of glad that i didn't kind of glad i am glad mm-hmm. that i didn't but our first day we went to mcdonald's why did we go to mcdonald's because i had no money i was broke my parents kicked me out of my house i was living with kev i was Carrying a trash bag with food, food in, in it. it. Y'all probably seen that on Kevin's old vlog. I'm sure they know. Yeah, so I ain't had no money, so I take her to Mickey D's. Is that cool? Anyways, I mean the the date wasn't to go to, to eat, so I didn't mind. Right. The date was to go to the movies. What movie did we go see? We went to go see the Amazing Spider-Man Two by my boy Jamie Foxx, my favorite actor. Shout out to him. <laughs> yeah, it was Shout a good. Out to it Jamie. was a good movie. <laughs> so I mean. We had a good... Th- and then, oh, do you remember what you did yeah. at the movies? He yeah. went to go brush his teeth again. Yeah. You got to make sure your breath is fresh. If y'all going to be right next to each other watching the movie, you got to make sure you're fresh. So that's, that's what I had to do. And then I swept her off her feet before we sat down on them chairs, you know, because she's so little. I had to pick her up real quick in that little dress. I still don't know what... That was cool. What I have on? It was a blue and white stripe. Blue and white stripe what? Uh, is it a dress? Okay. Yeah. What color shoes? I don't know about all that. That's that's too much detail. Okay. I was really like I was looking at your feet, but that was probably open, like probably like some sandals or something. Right, because we did start dating in the summer. You right. Did, you done good. Thank you. But yeah, we went to go see the Amazing Spider-Man two, mm. which is actually a really good movie, by the way. Right. A lot of people don't talk about that movie, but it was actually really good. Um, and then after that. We did start training. He started training me. Even right. though I've been thin. Well, this is probably the biggest I've ever been in my entire life. Mm. Not pregnant. You was about what? 98 pounds? I was thing? small. Super skinny. But I was anorexic though. He I was like skinny too. So when we met each other. We was skinny together. Right, I was we was sucking, bony together. Cheekbone, right, because like, he has really high grow. cheekbones. So when he loses weight, you can tell because it'll look like, like he's right. been, he got a natural contour or something. Mm-hmm. But he started training me. I only wanted to get training. I was not trying to fight with him. I was getting training because I felt like I needed, like, more muscles. Mm-hmm. I wanted to be, like, more toned. That's the only reason. I didn't need help losing weight. Right. She didn't need... She was already looking nice and everything was good, so... Right. Point taken that he was feeling me. He no. knew... In the beginning, n- neither one of us was feeling each other. I don't know <laughs> what she's talking about. He did. You saw... You, y'all heard what he just Our plan said, was not to, to get together yeah, but or wasn't. hook up, nothing like that. Right. We were just going on a date and... Yeah. Exactly, because he wasn't my type, like I said. But, um... Yeah, and then he... Um, we all like, developed a friendship. Right. And then he needed a place to live. And at that time, I had my own apartment. It was just me and my daughter, Anaya. Mm-hmm. So, I was like, okay, why not? You pay me some rent money, and then we'll be all good. And then I think that's where we kind of, like, really started to get 
mm-hmm. more personal with our relationship. Right. So that's how we hooked up. And so, so you know how we supposed to be roommates? Ask her, ask her where I slept that first night. I was supposed to sleep on this layout bed. That you were supposed to sleep on this little pull-out couch. Pull-out he couch, tried yeah. he tried to finesse his way into my room. Yeah, we slept in the same bed, but nothing happened. Don't right. even try it. <laughs> nothing happened. And from that day on, I slept in her bed. Yeah, we've been forever. sleeping in the same bed together ever since. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, what's the, what's next, the question? next question? Um, there was I don't know more. How to get to it? Um, let me see. What keeps you motivated on having just one partner? And that is from Nard Page. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and take what that keep, one, What sir. keeps me motivated on having just one? Just one partner. Well, all you need is <clears> one. <throat> one ring, one wife, one home. Very true. One car, maybe two. Yeah, two cars is very comfortable. Um, and plus, we are a Christian and that is the thing to do to be married and have one i don't need to be out there um fandangling them girls like i used to <laughs> fandangling yeah hooking up with girls like i used to i don't do that no more so uh, like i said i've always wanted one and i found that one this is who god uh, gave me she is my blessing yes yes i am i am a blessing mm-hmm. y'all already know she's my favorite yeah that's mm-hmm. bible right there Okay, so let's go ahead and, well, what motivates me to have just one person? When you're just with one person, you can really get to know that person. You can really, that person starts to understand you and you start to understand them. And why wouldn't you want to be with just one person that you know is committed to you? When you're, when you have someone who always has your back and will always be there for you through thick and thin, why would you want to be with other people? Mm -hmm. Why would you want to bring other things in the mix? Because... Anything with more than one head is a monster. Right. I don't know if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's my answer. And so, the next um, question, Leaky Bands. I think that's why you say he asked, like, several right. questions. So, let's go ahead and knock these out. Um, How long have y'all been together? And that's before marriage. We were only together for, for a, a year. year. <laughs> and what? Maybe and then, year, by the time our wedding day came, it was a year and a half. Right. So, yeah, we, we were together for a year and a half before we actually said, I do. Mm-hmm. Okay, where did y'all meet? We already answered that. Yeah, we already answered that one. Mm-hmm. And did y'all pull? Did y'all plan the first baby or was he an no, unexpected she blessing? No, was she an ex- unexpected blessing. So, he's thinking that Anaya is my child. Uh, she is my child, not biologically. Right. But I do claim her as my own. So, she had... Right, and she was unexpected. So, mm-hmm. but if... We we're technically talking about the children that we share together. Right. He'll be talking about Carson, which mm-hmm. is a he. Right. So, was Carson expected? Mm. We Carson. wanted to have children together. Mm-hmm. We wanted to wait until after we got married. So he was. We were wanting him. Like we planned to have mm-hmm. a child, but he came before our wedding. Like right. he, I got pregnant before we got married. So mm-hmm. that part was unexpected. So. Mm-hmm. That answers it. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the next one is, who said I love you first? I said I love you first, but she (laughs) always beats me and and, um, complains to me about this one because she said that I took uh, me saying that I love her back. You did take it back. I'm not saying that. I didn't take it back. I was saying that I didn't love her like I had loved this previous girl in a previous relationship. But I did love her. I just wasn't in love with her. So she was confused on that. So I probably didn't say the right word. So that's why she's probably taking it like that to this day. Yeah, but who would want to hear? No one wants to hear that. I still loved her. When I said it, I meant it. Right. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, he was the first one to say I love you. I'm not a really like lovey-dovey mm. like kind of person so of course i felt love for him but of course i wasn't gonna say it first because mm. i wasn't gonna play myself like i said oh i love you and he'd be like uh well i don't right. love you mm-hmm. so okay yeah. the next question is specifically just for you okay it says what events did you do in track well i did the 100 200 long jump and the 4 by 100 meter relay started running track when i was in the fourth grade Ran from 4th grade to 6th grade, took a break off 7th grade, 8th grade came back, was not so good. Took another break, ninth, 10th, and I came back 11th grade, 
and I will just let you know that my fastest time in 100 is 10.9. Fastest 200 time? I don't know. Uh, long jump, 22 feet, 3 inches. And yeah. So yeah, that's it for that one. Oh, this one is uh, just for you too. It says, do you still wear do-rags and bags on your head? In parentheses, classic. <laughs> of course I wear do-rags still. I will always and wear do-rags. Um, I only wear bags when I'm in the shower. So yeah. Well, that is so weird though, Brandon. So my hair don't mess up. I hate y'all. I can't stand the do-rags don't bother me unless mm -hmm. we go to a restaurant and he still has it on. Then I, I have a off. problem. Sometimes if he doesn't have a good haircut, he'll keep it on. I will leave it on. That doesn't make sense. But the bags, anything use a shower cap. And then secondly, you don't have no hair to mess up. Okay. It's not look, like your hair is like long and it gets curly and you're trying to keep it straight or something. I only wore the bags in public because it was keep the curl juicy and Please moist. don't even say that word. I might get get the no, curl back. No, Somebody you're not. Said get the oh curl no, back. they did they may have said that, but it's not gonna happen. Uh, I, I can't not. do it because he'll sleep with it like when we first like when he first grew his hair when we were together bag on his head sleeping with the freaking bag yeah so you got to hear a rustling in my sleep i'm not cool <laughs> with that so no bags no curl no bags do act for life though right <laughs> i don't care if i'm 70 80 and a rocker i'm rocking that do rag. <laughs> okay um another question from scott underscore 2000 how do you deal with arguments and dis disagreements in your marriage oh that's a good one what you think? How do we deal with arguments? Um, well, <laughs> both of us are pretty much the same. We kind of hot headed, and um, we um probably I don't know. We not. I don't think we're the greatest with dealing with arguments. Right. <laughs> My arguments used to be fierce, but not no yes. more. Our arguments are always small and minor, but we we kind of get to each other a lot. Mm -hmm. So I could be silent and not say nothing and not try to work it out. Especially if um, she don't want to do something, <laughs> but if I done something, I'm trying to, you know. You right. Talk You're trying to, to her rush all, all the. He'll try to get rush. Get back on good terms. Right. You'll yeah. try to rush that part though. Like if I'm upset because of something he did, I don't want. I just want to be mad at you. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you how I feel. I don't want you to try to fix it. Don't try to fix it mm -hmm. until I'm ready for you to try to. Yeah, fix I try it. to force it. Right. It's yeah, like try a to force forced kind of thing. Um. We when we argue. It's more. It's almost like I'm arguing and trying to get him to say something mm -hmm. while I'm arguing with him because he doesn't, like he said, he will sit there and not say anything. And that gets under my skin because I feel like now you're ignoring me. Mm -hmm. And, of course, no one likes to be ignored. So I'll feel like, okay, now he's ignoring me, so I really got to really push my point through. Mm -hmm. And with disagreements, I guess our disagreements and arguments are the same things because... Mm -hmm. I just like to get it out there. I don't like to hold on to my emotions because I feel like that's going to give me a stroke in like five years and I don't want to have a stroke <laughs> in five years. So I'll just go ahead and say what I have to say. We have a disagreement. I want to settle it. Let's just get through this, settle it, and get on with our but day. But what do we really disagree about? We probably disagree about probably the most discipline. Uh, yeah, disciplining, disciplining the, the kids. kids. Yeah, that's pretty I much. I think that's pretty much it. Right. We've gotten so much better with uh, knowing each other that a lot of things – we don't disagree on right argue about we have like the same argument over and over again it's mm -hmm. never nothing new which is weird you would think we would mm -hmm. have arguments about something else right but we don't so yeah my advice to get over <laughs> disagreements and arguments is just to give each other time and space mm. let it let each other cool off talk about it and then resolve but of course we're still working on that part right the next question is from I am Jordan Jones. How do you get over a heartbreak? And then you had a follow up question. How do you begin to trust females if you think they're all the same? How do you get over a heartbreak? Have you ever been heartbroken, B? Of course I've I've been heartbroken before. By? By a person. <laughs> Was it a boyfriend? Was it a relative? Um. What? I think I've had both. I've had heartbreak in like a family aspect, and then I've been heartbroken in like a relationship. Mm -hmm. Um, the easiest I can this is gonna sound like so cliche, like oh everybody says that, but to get over heartbreak is to really pray and ask God to help you because to be honest, nobody else can take that pain away from you. Mm -hmm. A lot of people say to get over um 
what guy is to get with a new one. No, that sounds good. And dumb. all that's doing is you're taking that heartbreak and all that baggage from that relationship and sliding it over into another one. Like, you're bringing your past with you. So I say just prayer. That helps me a whole lot. And then also um, really getting to know myself, not jumping into another relationship, not trying to immediately get over that guy by talking to another dude because that don't help. It really doesn't help. And at the end of the day, the only person that's still going to be hurting at, at the end of it all is you. What right. do you say? Have you been heart heartbroken before? I'm going to be honest. I don't think I've ever been heartbroken like that, man. Um... Females, Fear of females not breaking. Who who broke my heart? He said females not females not what? Females is not breaking my heart. <laughs> the only one that could break my heart is probably her, cause I'm I'm in love with her. I love her so much. If she was to ever like uh, leave me or die or something, then I would be heartbroken. Or if I lose one of my kids, that that would make me, you know. So you've never got no. dumped. No, I never been dumped. I never been dumped. I've always, whenever I pursued a girl, it's always been yes. You feel me? I probably only no. got denied one time <laughs> from one girl, and that was only because we were talking, went for a long break. Then once we start talking again, then I um kind of rushed into it a little bit too fast. So yeah. Yep. Um, <laughs> something else. I'm for real. And then it says, "How do you begin to trust females who think they are all the same?" How do you, Brandon? Well, let me let me answer this one. Um, when I was talking to other girls in the past before I met her, they were all girls. They weren't women, and so I guess I didn't trust the girl I was with. When I was the girl I was with before her, I didn't trust her, not really that much, either, cause um she was on some iffy stuff that I didn't know about until later. But I kind of didn't trust her. Um, we didn't. We had a cool relationship, but it wasn't nothing like nothing like that. So. Yeah, um, she's a woman, so that's different. And uh, she's a respectable person. I could trust her. She's not a cheater or nothing like that, but she is a beater. She does hit on me. <laughs> let you guys know. <laughs> she will hit me. And she pulls knives on me. So, yeah. What are you her. talking uh, about? Well, she get real <laughs> Don't mad. listen to him. You think I'm playing? At all. I mean, y'all have seen Brandon in the past. Mm. Wouldn't you pull a knife on a guy like that? <laughs> <laughs> you crazy. <laughs> All right, then the next question is actually from a boy. His name is uh, Clifford. Cliff. He works at Just In Time Barbershop. Shout out to them. He asks, um, what would either of you say is the biggest sacrifice you've had to make for that relationship? Mm. Answer that, but Wow. The biggest sacrifice that I had to make was stepping down in as a, the leader of my home and allowing him to lead me and our family. Mm. That was the most difficult thing because I had my daughter at a young age and I moved out on my own at a young age and so I was always used to creating my own rules and being the head of the household so once I met and married Brandon I had to relinquish my stand and once you've been in that position for a long time over five years it's kind of hard to take mm. a step back but that'll be the biggest sacrifice. okay what about you Brandon um, my biggest sacrifice probably would be giving up the title of being the ladies man <laughs> Um, I gave up all those girls that I had, man, because I had a flock of them. And, um, yeah, I just had to commit myself to one woman. No, just kidding. That's not, that's not my sacrifice. He said a sacrifice. flock. <laughs> that's not my sacrifice. <laughs> um, my sacrifice is actually probably giving up one of my dreams, which was modeling. Um, the reason why I gave that up was because I couldn't be, uh, you know, traveling back and forth to Hollywood and at the time, I had my, my son, Carson, so I had to be there for my family and, and support them. And plus, it wasn't bringing in any money at the time because I was just getting my portfolio started. So giving it up, my modeling um, uh, dream was probably the biggest sacrifice that I, that I had to make. So, yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, what is your biggest pet peeve? Like, what, what about me? Something I do, like, get under your skin, like, bother you? B, this is a question and answer. Yeah, that question is fans. from Brittany Dot Marie. That's her Instagram name. I'm not. What's your biggest pet peeve? I'm not peeve? inclined to answer her questions, but my biggest <laughs> pet peeve is probably I don't know what get what gets to me. I don't know. I think that uh, now. I don't know. I, I really don't know what's my what's my biggest thing when it when it comes to you. What's yours? Smacking. Oh, and he Smacking. slurps. Smacking I don't and smack like that. Yes, you do. And you slurp. No. Brandon, you don't slurp? I slurp, yeah. Oh, my kills. He slurps sandwiches. He slurps noodles. He slurps soup. He slurps chips. Like, mm -hmm. 
<laughs> How do you like that? Oh my god! And you do smack sometimes because you be like. I don't know. I guess what irks me the most when it comes to her is probably being on her phone all the time. She spends <laughs> a crazy amount of time on her phone. I don't know what the heck she's looking at. I don't know how many clothes she can look at in one day. And I could just entertain her throughout the whole day, day after day after day. So, yeah, I, I don't know. More quality time would be nice, I guess. Yeah, but you sleep. He sleeps all the time. No. Well, I like, say, oh, let's, like, watch a movie. I'll look over Brandon's sleep. Yeah, if it's late at night, I got to go to you work in the morning. You don't have to be late. Say after this, I turn on a movie. I look over, Brendan gonna be asleep. I gotta take my nap. Knocked man. out. I've always prided myself on taking the eight hours. <laughs> sleep, so you take like twelve do. or thirteen though. No. God oh, bless you. Bless you. Whoa. Oh, and just um, introduce you guys to our newest addition. This is Caden. Caden Cash, Cash. Kasai. And then this is of course Carson, Carson Kyrie, Kyrie Carter. Carter. Look mm -hmm. at Carson. Say hi. Carson. Carson, Carson, say hi. Look. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> he loves his little brother. He's a great big brother. So yeah. Yes, he does. And he's... You should oh. give him a five. <laughs> you give him a five. Give him a kiss. Now, as you guys can see, Caden is Brandon's twin. And Carson is mine. Give the He Yeah, is, is he looks like... You, well, his head is turned, so you can't really tell. Look, look Caden. Say, say hi, Caden. Whoa. Say hi. Whoa. Car oh, Lord. Carson does not like to be outdone. <laughs> right. He's definitely our wild card. That middle kid. That middle what? <laughs> I don't know what he just said. And he knows how to talk, so I don't know why he'd be, why he be talking like that. A ring? That is ring? Yeah, every time he says something, he'll say, say it in front of it. Right. So, he got that from me. Right. I'll I tell him to say this, that. say that. But yeah, that's our time. Um, thanks for all the questions. And I hope we answered um, all the questions. Um, as you guys had asked us, um, check us back next time on YouTube. We will be uploading regularly. Yes, our schedule is Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Carson's right. big old head is in the way. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Love you guys. Love Bye. you guys. Bye.